Oh, all right, everyone. Welcome back. You guys know who it is. It's your guy. No way. It's Brandon coming at you guys again with another video for today. How you guys do, man? You guys doing well? You guys doing great? You guys doing absolutely stupendously fantastic, guys. We are going to do something a little bit differently today. We are going to try to play a different game. <laughs> uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to take a break from Halo today, only because I started getting a little bit frustrated because I was playing some sweaty BTB matches. So I said, you know what? I think now is a good time to start a different series. We're still going to play Halo. I just wanted to play something aside from Halo. So I don't know. I might upload one, one or two videos a day of MX Unleashed and <sighs> Halo. So first, let me get in touch with my character and fix him up really quick. All right, guys. So we got our guy all geared up. We got him ready to go. We chose a black bike because they don't really have any green bikes. I don't think this game had any Kawasaki bikes. And for the gear set, we got some nice Alpine Stars going on. For those of you gear-savvy motorcyclists out there, you guys know what Alpine Stars is. Jersey pants. We got the name. We got Brandon going on. I was going to go with the 024, uh, only because of my gamer tag is 024, but I only have the 0 as just a filler because my initials are BCS, so I wanted to have a BCS 024 instead of just BCS 24. It just seemed weird to me. But... For the sake of having a nice looking jersey, we got just two four on there, and we got a helmet with black and green goggles. We got the goggles with the green. Actually, I want the goggles with, oh yeah, green lenses. We got some green, Cinecelo, I don't know what it's called. City, we got some green. That was kind of all the green stuff that they had, but I typically wear black with green anyway. Today, I'm actually wearing some darkish blue with green, but I usually use green as an accent. So now, we're going... <clears throat> Pardon me. So now we are going to start a championship series. So it's about, I think, what is it? Four races for this one. I was going to show it to you guys, but hold on a second. Well, I was going to show it to you guys, but uh, I had to go and create my character when I selected it and a bunch of weird stuff. All right, guys, we're going to start our first race. I think I remember how to play. Hopefully the audio is not too loud. So what I was saying was that with this game, do I want another lap? I should have probably changed the laps to three. I might do that at some point. So I think what I'm going to do is that while playing this game, I'm probably going to just do championship series. Series? Right? I don't I don't say series is, that's just weird. I'm probably just gonna, I'm probably just going to do a whole bunch of championship series events, that sounds better. And man, I'm smoking these guys. And probably do maybe one or two races of video. I'm going to have to see. It's probably just going to be one race of video. And then I'm probably going to play some more Halo. Uh, either today or tomorrow, but that's probably gonna be what's happening only because I understand watching one one game can be pretty tiresome I actually had a comment a while ago of Someone I forget the name of, of the person forgive me, but you're probably still out there watching um, This dude suggested that I play some other games just to kind of have some just to have some variety and I did agree with him I was just oh I just want you guys to know that I love playing Halo. Halo was always going to be my pride and joy and the foundation of this channel, but I didn't see any reason to not play something else and still play Halo. So <laughs> that's probably what I'm going to do is just balance between a couple games just so that it can stay fresh because I'm sure some people aren't always going to want to watch some first person shooter action. They might want to see something else just to kind of change up the pace a bit. Is MX Unleashed still good in 2019? Because this game was released in what? 2000... Oh! Come on, man! I almost fell off of the the berm right there. This game was released in 20... Not, not 20. Actually, yeah, 20. I'm, I'm being silly. I think 2006, if I'm not mistaken. Probably 20... Oh! Look at the... Oh! Bar hot. I don't know why I just did that, but... This game was probably released back in 20... Oh, 06. I'm sorry, <laughs> 2006. I can't say my numbers correctly. Oh man, I totally cased that. I was trying to find something else to play because playing first person shooters and having some commentary is tough sometimes, man. Because I can't always get my thoughts out there. Sometimes I just got to play something that's just not as competitive, mind numbing per se. And I thought that this fit the bill, and I just kind of wanted to see if we thought it was going to hold up. Indian Air. And I was. Oh, no! Get back on the track! Get back on the track! Oh my god, I'm so trash. I don't know what just happened, bruh. And I also wanted to see if we collectively thought that this game held up in 2019. 
because this is a pretty ancient game, but I think with it being backward compatible on the Xbox One and on the Xbox One X, it doesn't look too bad. It does not look bad. I mean, you, you have to take into consideration that your boy B just won. Can we get a whoop whoop? Whoop whoop! Yeah, oh! Anyway guys, it's gonna have to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching again. If you guys can please like, subscribe, comment, and enjoy the content, that'd be absolutely stupendously fantastic. And if you guys wanna see the series continue, let me know. And if you don't, otherwise I will make the I will make the decision on my own. But um, does this game hold up in 2019? I mean, just from playing it just now, I think it holds up quite nicely to be quite honest. It's really simple because a lot of uh, motocross games nowadays, which I might even play some more of those because I do love motocross games. I've grown up on them, but a lot of them nowadays are a bit too complex, but this one gets gets the job done, man. It's still fun to this day. It's a nice little arcade game. On Xbox One, you can go and pick it up. I think you might have to pay for it. It's either, I actually have the original disc from the original Xbox, so I already have my own copy. So if you already have your own copy of this, go ahead and slip it into the Xbox One or your Xbox One X, and then you're gonna have to download a update on the console and then you can play it for free essentially. But if you don't have it, I think you might have to go into the Microsoft Store and purchase the update, or you can probably just buy a copy for sale somewhere or something like that, but go ahead and do your homework on that. But go ahead guys, hit that like button and go ahead and go and push those push notifications. I said go like 10 times, bro, drinking game. But anyway guys, you know how it goes. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. And as usual, I gotta figure out some kind of outro.